Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing just like a get ready with me video. It's a simple everyday makeup look um, and how I do my hair just because my hair is still wet and everything I just got out of the shower. Make sure you guys do subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. Um, let me know if there's anything you guys wanna see next. I'm gonna go on and post my giveaway soon. I have a lot of stuff put together, so I'll go on and post it. Um, so keep a heads up for that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and we're gonna go on and get started. So I'm gonna try a new foundation today. I'm not really sure about it because I don't really like trying new foundations. But this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Um, it says it's a foundation and concealer, like a two-in-one. So we'll see how this works. Um, and then... The wand, it's actually like a wand, like a stick, and it looks like this, like a tart shape tape. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, let me go in and put on my primer real quick. Using the same NYX primer. Okay, so I'll go in with this foundation. And a whole lot doesn't come out on the little applicator. But I'll just take whatever did come out and just do a couple swipes on my face. And I'm using one of the Real Technique sponges. It looks like this, and I have wet this sponge. And I'm just gonna go in and blend it out. I don't know if you can see, but it's super, super smooth. Um, everything is really blended. But I am gonna go back in, like I am gonna go back in with some concealer under my eyes, just because I think they could use a little bit more coverage. Um, but we're gonna go on and move on to my eyes. And like I said, I'm just gonna do a natural eye look for my eyes. So just like browns and just natural colors, nothing too crazy. Um, and for this. I look, I usually go with my Jaclyn Hill palette and just something that has like a good amount of browns in it or even the Carly Bible palette. Um, this is the Carly Bible palette and it, that it does have like a good um, range of like browns and warm colors and that's what I like to use for my everyday look. So I'm probably going to go in and use this palette and some of the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to start with the Carly Bible palette and pick up this um, cream shade down here at the bottom and just to set my eyelid with that I'm using the same it's just a fluffy brush I'm gonna go in with this top color more of like a peachy shade and use this as my transition color Okay, next I'm gonna pick up um, my Morphe M441 brush and I'm gonna go in with this a little bit of a darker warm shade brown right here from the Carly Bible palette. Just going in upper crease. I just literally blend everything together for my everyday look because it takes me like three seconds to do my eyes. I think I'm gonna open up the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going in with the Morphe M433. I'm going to pick up this one right here. And just kind of blending it towards my lower crease. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Butter, which is this one. Kind of the same area. I'm gonna pick up more of a crease brush and go in with this 
dark chocolatey brown from the Carly Bible palette. This one is super pigmented and a lot comes out when you dip into it so you just need to lightly touch it and I'm going directly into my crease. I'm going to pick up the shade called Mocha, which is a darker, darker brown down here. And I'm going in lower crease and I'm gonna hit my outer lid with this. The Modern Renaissance palette also has some really good um, like natural colors, like um, if it's shade, I think it's called taupe, and then the um, raw sienna color. All of them. those are my favorites. I actually need to pick up another one of those palettes. Um, I don't have mine anymore, but that's one of my favorite palettes ever. And now I'm gonna pick up a um, this is an elf brush, it's called the eyeshadow C brush, it looks like this. And I'm going to go in with my Carly Bible palette and mix this cream color and the more of a peachy color together just to put on the inner corner. So you get something to like blend into. I'm gonna go back in and make sure we didn't have any fallout and kind of clean up the under eyes. And then I'm gonna go in and do my brows. So I have my brows done and now I'm gonna go in with some concealer and I'm still using the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm not gonna use it a lot. Um, just because that foundation says it has concealer like in it or it's supposed to be a concealer. So I'm not going to use a lot and I'm just going to put it under my eyes just to see how the rest of the face yeah, it does. I'm going to go in with my Morphe sponge for my concealer. Just pat it in in those areas that need it. Yeah, I think it definitely brightened up the eye with that concealer. So now I'm going to set my face and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. And now I'm going to let that sit and go on and bronze up my face using the Tarte Clay Palette. I'm using the shades Terracotta and Desert. Alright, so I don't usually let this sit long when I'm doing my everyday makeup, so I'm just going to go on and brush everything away. I'm gonna go in with blush. And for blush today, I'm using this Model Co blush. Um, it's in the shade called Peach Bellini. And it looks like this. And for highlight, I'm gonna go in with the gold shade today. Um, this one right here. And I always like to top it with some of the white. It just really in, like enhances it. Go in under with my under eyes and pick up some of this um, shade, the lighter brown shade, the Carly Bible palette, and go under my eyes. For mascara, I'm using the Better Than Sex mascara, and I'm going to curl my lashes.
Okay, and for lips, um, I'm gonna try out, I bought this a long time ago. It's one of the Tardis lip paints and it's in the shade called Pillow Talk. It's super light and I usually really like nude colors, um, but I didn't like how this felt at first, like how it dried on my lips and everything, but I'm gonna, you know, like retry it out and everything. I'm gonna put like a, a light gloss on my lip first just to see if that helps it. Um, yeah, let me try this out first. Just because I want to like it and I want to wear it because I bought it. But I just did not like it. So let's just try it again. We're gonna go move on to doing my hair. Um, I'm gonna go on and dry my hair. I have my hair dryer and everything down here. But I'll dry my hair, um, and then once I get done drying my hair, I'll, you know, come back on here, and then I'll show you how I, I'm gonna curl my hair with a straightener today, so I'll show you guys how I curl my hair with a straightener, and it literally takes not even five minutes to do that. So I'm going to go on and dry my hair and then I'll come back on here and show you guys how I curl my hair with the straightener. Okay, so curling my hair with a straightener, um, I usually just section it off, put about the first half of it up, like the top half of it up, and keep the bottom half down, um, and then I'll take a chunk of it right here, and you just put it in the straightener and twist the straightener while you're pulling your hair through. And it's as simple as that, and you get a really pretty tight curl. Um, if you don't like them that tight, just go on and curl all your hair like that. Like once you get done, you can run the straightener through them again and it'll loosen them up. So I'm gonna, I'll go on and show you guys like a couple, how I do a couple of them and everything. And then I'm gonna do my whole head. Like it's super simple and it literally takes seconds. Even when I'm running a few minutes late and I know I need my hair to look like decent, I know I can do this in a quick amount of time because it doesn't take long at all.
finished up um all my hair and this is where i was talking about like if this is too curly for you which it pretty much is for me you can take your straightener and like go back in and straighten out a few pieces like especially the ones underneath and just you know run it through easily like don't straighten out everything but especially the ends you can just straighten them back out Alrighty guys, so here's the finished look for my get ready with me today. Um, just more of a natural look, um, a really natural eye, no lashes, anything like that, and just a really natural lip too. The foundation actually worked out really well. It does look super natural, it actually just looks like my skin. <laughs> um, and then I do actually like the lip, especially if you just put a little bit of like a natural gloss underneath. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, anything about this look, I will put everything in the description box that I use, even like the straightener, hair products, anything like that that I've used in this video will be in the description box. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment letting me know what you want to see next. And stay tuned for the giveaway and my next video coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.